That's right. He took her to the bank, would have her bank card and withdraw money, take her on hospital visits. Are you sure they were divorced? Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> and shopping without my knowledge and consent. Well, I'm not sure if you knew you would also approve that. Abby, will she approve that? No, she'll be like, what? <laughs> exactly. This is why when people say, if you're going to cheat, leave. At least if you're going to leave, cheat, right? At least be honest. Oh, like, at least he was honest with it. <laughs> like, it still won't make you feel Why honest. would anybody want to be honest with this, right? The question is deeper than if they're honest or right or, or wrong. Yes. Yeah. My constant question led me to led led to me and my son being physically abused. Wow. Uh, well, at that point, it's beyond us, right? Huh. That's a no no. You should never sit there if somebody is especially physically abusing you. That's right. And especially a child. Mm -hmm. Suddenly, my son was not respectful towards him. Because he saw his mom get beat by his dad. Yes. You, yes. He will lose respect. Yes. In that. Not because he got beat. Because... All right. What's going on? Um labeled disrespectful wife after feeling neglected mm. okay so let me actually there's a comment <laughs> okay yeah, i always want to look make sure so watching this i'll admit i'm guilty of this so we have another video up here called the five signs your wife doesn't Expression. respect you mm -hmm. it's one of our biggest videos. It has about ten thousand views on it so make sure you go watch it there's a reason why it has a lot of views on it when our average is much less right mm -hmm. so uh it's called five signs your wife doesn't respect you if you search on youtube five wife five signs your wife doesn't respect you lola and ola the video should pop right up all right so but here's a comment on it watching this i'll admit i'm guilty of this as i'm sure there are many women who if harnessed enough with themselves will admit it too so this is a video that was recorded for a man that asked a question mm -hmm. on how to handle um, a, a wife who is disrespecting him right but mm -hmm. a woman is finding value in it and mm -hmm. the person is admitting that that uh, she does that she, things, she's yeah. done that now she says however i loved my husband when we married he was still married to his first wife and their divorce was finalized eight months later Mm -hmm. wait, 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 wait. Complication everywhere. Wait, wait. <laughs> this is Let's why, get this right. This is the part where I say there should be complicated in the list you in, mentioned. In legal, in legal relationship types, right? Yes. All right. Yes. Uh, let me see if I got that right. He was still married when they met, right? Mm -hmm. I love my husband when we were married. He was still married to his first wife. When we married? That's an illegal marriage. Uh, anyway, maybe it's a typo. And their divorce was finalized eight months later. Mm -hmm. All right, drama, wahala. Oh, wahala. <laughs> he told me their marriage was over, and there was no marriage anymore. Oh, so he lied. Yeah, Fast a lot forward. of guys lie, by the way. Okay. Yeah, it's crazy. They lie. A lot of people do like this. For example, if they're in different countries, mm -hmm. maybe he was married in Nigeria or married in the United States, and somebody's in London. Mm -hmm. yeah, that happens too. It's terrible. They don't have happens. a woman at home. Like you can't tell that they're married, so right. they can easily get away with it. Exactly. Yeah. They do. Or you can see them since they are far away. <laughs> right. You can You're see right. them. So, you know? long distance relationships, you got to be careful with that. I would never say never to that, but you got to be careful with long long distance relationships. Mm -hmm. um, because a lot of time, people that the person you're talking to, they're talking to you, they're comfortable because you're so far away. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. But they actually have a situation at home, but they're, they, they're painting a picture of. Of. I mean, they're usually signs. I just see. I, I just feel like mm -hmm. we as humans mm -hmm. sometimes when we like something or where maybe you overlook we, the signs too. You overlook the signs. So in addition, signs are always there. So so in addition to the fact that there's long distance, mm -hmm. you tend to overlook if you really like this person. Mm -hmm. Then the chances that you like them also increases because they're not in your face annoying you. Mm -hmm. So there's this facade that you probably like this person because distance does make the heart go fonder. Funder. Yes, that's true. Be careful, the mind. Anyway, he told me their marriage was over and there was no marriage anymore. Uh, fast forward to the second year of our marriage. Imagine my surprise when I discovered he had been a constant visitor at our home. Wait, 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 what? Fast forward to the second year of our marriage. Imagine my surprise when I discovered he had been a constant visitor at her home. Oh, oh the ex-husband or something? Yeah, the ex-wife. The, the husband has been going to the ex-wife place. Oh, her husband has been going to yes. at her home. Okay, okay, okay. See, you're getting it more than me. Their three sons were all 24 years plus. Jesus, grown people. Was I wrong to question his visits 
to her house? That's one question right there. Was she wrong to question a visit to her, to her house? That's the ex-wife with children. I mean, I mean, these are overgrown like children I said, too. This, are compl this is complicated. When someone has children already before you marry them, you can't say they can't see their kids, right? Yeah, yeah but these yeah. are not kids. These are 24 years are old. Are they plus. still living at home with the, with the mom? Regardless. <laughs> you come in there well, to visit 24 they years old? come over, I guess. <laughs> That's another sign right there. Yeah. Why is he going there all the time? Right. And the kids can actually come over. That's true. I mean, the real answer is that there's no right and wrong. Because your question is, was I wrong? There's no right and wrong. It's not relevant. It's about does it make you feel good? Does, mm. it, does it make you feel some type of way? I'm Is guessing it it's making you feel some type of way. So it's feeling wrong, even right. if it's not wrong. And that's more important than wrong. The fact that it feels wrong, right? right? Surely his children could visit their dad whenever. You just said that. Yeah, they could. That's true. 24 right? plus. Especially 24 <laughs> plus, right? He took her to the bank, would have her bank card and withdraw money take her on hospital visits are you sure they're divorced anyway <laughs> <laughs> and shopping without my knowledge and consent well i'm not sure if you knew you would also approve that abby would she approve that no she'll be like what <laughs> exactly this is why when people say if you're gonna cheat leave at least if you're be gonna honest. leave cheat, right at least be honest oh, like, at least he was honest with it like it still why don't would, make you feel why different. would anybody want to be honest with this right the question is deeper than if they're honest or right oh, or no. wrong yes yeah. my constant question led me to let led to me and my son being physically abused wow uh, well, at that point, it's beyond us, right? Huh. That's a no-no. You should never sit there if somebody is especially physically abusing you. That's right. And especially a child. Mm -hmm. Suddenly, my son was not respectful towards him. Because he saw his mom get beat by his dad. Yes, you, yes. He will lose respect yes. in that. Not because he that's got right. beat, because he saw his mom got beat, yeah. right? But again, that's way deep, right? We didn't make him feel like this was his home. Oh, she's admitting. Remember, she's admitting to being a disrespectful wife. Right, right. We didn't make him feel like this was his home. He felt like an outsider, and I spent more time talking to my son and watching movies with him. Even worse, you're going to turn your child to the your husband. husband until he leaves. Yeah. And then you're lonely again. And then you go into your son's oh. family to go destroy that family unknowingly. Yeah, because that you're attached. Too. Because you're attached to your child. Yeah, this probably these traumas go way beyond one lifetime, you know. They sure do. Um, he was hardly at home, only to eat and have sex. Oh, you're still having sex, okay. What was I supposed to do? I think in this part <laughs> right here, boundaries may be necessary. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I'm not a big fan of boundaries, but if you have a complicated situation... This is complicated. Um, you will need to... Um, to, to set some boundaries together not the boundary you set for him because if you set the boundary for him he will break it that's the whole point of cheating you set the boundary for me now i mean now i feel hurt to break it right mm -hmm. but if you agree to a boundary that works for both of you uh, so now agreeing to that is how do you get to a point where you agree to a boundary that means he sees value in that kind of boundary right it's not the value just for you but but, but for the both of value you. that both of you see maybe right. you're trying to protect your home you don't want temptations yeah like he sees that right but if he doesn't see that uh it's a it's a lost cause because remember i hate to say it, it looks like you're the husband snatcher no lord <laughs> that is harsh she, she will say that know. will she say that she did not know would the ex-wife say that yes she will say that. okay so i didn't say that but she she's probably she thinking you're the husband snatcher that. and she's probably in competition active competition with you and any woman all women will fight this competition. I don't care what their morals and values are. Mm. They will fight until everybody dies. Oh, Lord. Yeah, it That's gets vicious. Terrible. It gets vicious. All values, all character values, core values, uh, what do you call it, moral values, goes out the window. It sure does. When feelings are involved. All religion, religious oh, beliefs. Forget Jesus and that all that stuff goes out the window. <laughs> it sure does. <laughs> all right, so... This and many other negative things led to me treating him as sin in this video, basically the, the disrespect. I felt he disrespected me and my marriage, not being open about his feelings for his first wife and not communicating with me when he felt he'd rather be with her than with me. I divorced him in year five of our marriage. It was my wow. last resort. So sorry to hear that. Divorce is never cool. Yeah. Or it never feels right. Yeah. 
Looking back to the day he was served the divorce papers, he came to my work to plead with me to stop the divorce. I would have stopped the divorce in a heartbeat if he promised and acted on that promise to completely eliminate his first wife from his life. You can't help oh, me. That's a realistic oh, request. It's not going to happen. <laughs> Especially somebody who is obviously attached. He is attached to his first wife. He's probably more attached to his first wife because he actually doesn't live with her. Mm -hmm. You know you get more attached when you don't live with that person. Mm -hmm. It's kind of weird. It's There's, like reverse. Um, yeah, you start to... You value it you, more. You, you value more, that's yeah, true. Yeah, sadly, You're I'm sorry. You're attracted to yeah. that part more. Yeah, because you don't live with them now. You miss it more. Mm -hmm. you, you know, the distance makes the heart fonder, right? It does. Um, and In a weird way. Yeah, but that's just the reality. In a happy, if he had promised and acted on that promise to completely eliminate his first wife, no visits, no taking calls after 9, 10 p.m., uh, that's a man. You t tell him what time. That doesn't feel right. Just FYI. Tell mm. him the man went to pick up a call. If he does it repeatedly in a serial way, like he's disrespectful with it, mm -hmm. of course you can say, babe, I would like to spend time with you instead of you picking this calls. But every, again, I'm guessing it happens over and over. I mean, 9, 10. Yeah. I would say, I would not say 9, 10. Now, as you mean, it was like 3 in the middle of the night we're sleeping and you consistently yeah. get called. It's not even one-off. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes one-off we'll get a call from Nigeria. Right. And you're like, yo, these people don't even know when to call. Like, didn't mm -hmm. you check the time difference? Yeah. One off like that. I get it. But if it's constant, then, yeah. I mean, something that you should talk about. All right. So this one says, um, she continues, no running to do husband lead duties. No nothing. He, if he had focused on me and our marriage, had, had put me first and not made me feel like the second wife. Wow, you a second wife. But anyway, <laughs> then who knows, we may have made it. Sadly, he didn't think he was wrong in caring about her or her needs. I, I could see why he wouldn't feel that there's anything wrong with this. It's also an unrealistic expectation from his part. Mm. To expect that even if you're second, third wife, that you wouldn't feel some You'll sense okay of jealousy. It. Yeah. Yeah, it's unrealistic on his part Because as well. you're still sharing him. With yeah. that woman. And, and nobody likes to share. Uh, nobody likes to share. Excuse exactly, me. Exactly. Even men don't like to share. Even sister wives mm -hmm. gone, they don't like to share. <laughs> of course. If you watch the show, you see how nasty they can get. Mm -hmm. mm. So, uh, apparently, I was hard hearted and insecure. Well, that's not a crime. You were mm -hmm. insecure, rightfully so, because mm -hmm. again, you start to question mm -hmm. if he loves you, if yeah. he cares for you. Uh, this is normal, you know, rightfully so. So sometimes our husbands drive us to act in this manner. I disagree with that, one hundred percent. You, mm. your reactions are your actions. Mm. And if you, but if, I, I, I can, I can understand what she. Of means course, you can that. understand. Of you course, know, you can understand. I can understand because when a man starts to do the things that he's not supposed to do, mm -hmm. you start to lose respect for the man. So, so, so let me take that back. I don't necessarily disagree with you, but it just tends to be where women run to. Where yes, to. this is. The he way made me do it. I, no, I that is still your responsibility. I mean, you sign. I mean, you did it. Mm -hmm. You should own it. But there are situations that can lead you to act. There's no but. Way. After you say uh, you did. Excuse me. Uh, a but? There are some of these men out there. A but. They're guy. not ready to be no, husbands no, no, no. and they're running down uh, around the street acting like they're ready to be husbands and driving women nuts. And that's how you have all this chaos. Yeah, it's real. Okay. But anyway, uh, then we are labeled disrespectful. So sometimes our husband drives us to act in this manner and then we are labeled disrespectful. Mm -hmm. That's the topic. When we feel neglected and pushed aside. Yes. This is real. This is how. See, there's no right and wrong in this video. That's this is this is the experience. Absolutely. Right. Uh, this is the experience of a person, and I want to thank that person for feeling vulnerable to share this with us. Uh, but this is how it works. Like, it, it's there's no perfect world anywhere. Somebody is bringing trauma. The other person is bringing experience. When you mix it together, we call it romance because you don't know enough yet. Once you start to find out, then you go through this journey and some end up in divorce, some don't. Yes. Some are lucky, some are not lucky. Some are lucky to be in divorce because divorce is not necessarily a bad thing. It is a bad thing first, okay? It is failure of a marriage first because I hear... It's the death of a marriage. Yeah, failure of a marriage first because I see a lot of people also running around the internet talking marriage is not a... Uh, divorce is not a failure. It is a failure. If you feel the need to justify to me that my, that divorce is not a failure, mm -hmm. that means it's a failure. That means you feel in your heart that it's a failure and it's okay because we have failures in different aspects of our life at different levels and things like that it's about what lesson did you get out of that now if you're going to be dismissive 
about the fact that it's a failure or if you're going to be not genuine about that if you're going to water it down how are you going to extract all the lessons in it yeah i think people will say that running around saying that they are still but hot that's it that's it and they are not ready to be honest with themselves that's yes. the problem a lot of people can't look in the mirror and say what have i contributed to this mess yeah, yeah. or it's just the other person is such a bad person but mm -hmm. you married them so this video was yeah. longer than usual but i think it was worth it